Welcome everyone to this continued discussion on data input and output. In this lecture, we'll focus on Excel files. Pandas can read and write to Microsoft Excel files, but a really important note here is that pandas can only read and write in the raw data. If you have a more advanced Excel spreadsheet that has macros or visualizations or specific formulas created inside the spreadsheet, pandas is not going to be able to read in those relationships. It's just going to grab the actual value in the cell and then read it in as a data frame. So the way Pandas works with Excel files is it basically treats the entire Excel workbook as a dictionary with the key being the sheet name and then the value associated with that is the data frame itself. So you actually have a dictionary of data frames. You should also note that using Pandas with Excel requires the installation of additional libraries, specifically OpenPyXL and XLRD. However, if you are using our provided environment, we already have these installed for you or you can check out the lecture notebook to install them manually. We do have the pip install codes there for you. Okay, so let's explore how this all works. All right, so here I am in the Jupyter Notebook. As a quick note, if you do find yourself working a lot with Excel and Python, you may actually want to use one of the libraries that Pandas uses directly. So I mentioned that if you're using our environment, you don't need to install anything, but if you are not using our environment, you do need to install OpenPy Excel as well as XLRD. XLRD is for reading data and formatting information for older Excel files, that is .xls. And then OpenPyXL uses the newer Excel file .xlsx. And so Pandas basically runs on top of OpenPyXL and XLRD when dealing with Excel files. So keep that in mind that it's gonna use those files and, uh, or use those libraries, excuse me. And we have those set up for you already inside of the environment. But if you do find yourself working a lot with Excel, you may want to not be limited by pandas and use these libraries directly. So just keep that in mind. There are a lot of libraries available to you and it's at python-excel.org and we've linked that for you inside the lecture notebook. But let's show you, show you what you can do with pandas and Excel. So we have an Excel file for you called myexcelfile.xlsx. And what we're going to do here is say dfpd and as you probably guessed, it's just read underscore Excel. And then you pass in the entire file path or just the file if it's in the same location as your notebook. And we'll say my Excel file dot XLSX. Again, this file we provided for you already, and it's located inside of the pandas folder. So where your pandas notebooks are, you can just scroll down and you can find it here. It's this my Excel file dot XLSX. So we come back here and then we have two options. We have if we just want to read in a single sheet, we say sheet name, and then you have to provide in the sheet name that you're reading in from the workbook. So in this case, the sheet name is first underscore sheet. You run that command after providing the sheet name, and it opens up that workbook, looks at the sheet name that matches first underscore sheet, and says DF. And so we see the data frame here. Okay. Now, the next logical question is, if I have a, a really large workbook file, I probably am not going to know all the sheet names. And let's say I want to run a loop through all the sheet names, open them up, and do something with them. So what can I do in that case if you don't actually know the sheet names? Well, if you just want a list of all the sheet names in a workbook file, you can use the PD Excel file command for that. So we can say PD Excel file, and let's go ahead and save this as something like WB for workbook. You pass in the file itself, and then off that workbook, you hit tab here, and you can go to the sheet names attribute, and it will give you a list of all the sheet names. And then as you can imagine, you can use a for loop to loop through this, and then do whatever you want as you provide that variable into sheet name and PD read Excel inside of the loop. However, probably the more common way to do this, instead of just calling PD Excel file, is to just grab all the sheets. And what Pandas actually does is it creates a dictionary. So we can say Excel sheet DICT or dictionary. We'll say PD read Excel. And then we'll say my Excel file. And specifically, we're going to say sheet name is equal to, whoops, single equal sign is equal to none. I'm going to zoom out just one level so we can see the whole thing. What this does is it says, go ahead and read in this Excel workbook. And if you say sheet name is equal to none, it will read in everything and then set up a dictionary for you. And what's really nice about this is, let's confirm the type here. It is a dictionary, which means the dictionary itself has keys. 
And in this case, it has one key, which is the first sheet. And it basically matches up with what we saw here if we read it in as an Excel file object. But what's nice about this then is you can simply say Excel sheet dictionary. And if you pass in one of those keys, it returns back the data frame. So it's a dictionary where the key is the sheet name and the value is the data frame itself. So you can actually kind of show this if you reveal the whole dictionary. This is its attempt to show you this where it has, again, the sheet name as the key and the value itself is a data frame. You just don't see this nice formatting because we're asking for everything in that dictionary. Okay, so finally, let's show you how to write to an Excel file. As you might have guessed, it's pretty simple once you have a data frame that you feel comfortable with. So let's go ahead and say our DF is equal to this particular data frame. So I have our data frame here. If I want to save it to an Excel file, I simply say to Excel. And if I want to create a new Excel file, so I can say something like example.xlsx and then provide a sheet name for it in the workbook and I'll say first sheet. Something to keep in mind here is that if this Excel file already exists, what it's going to do, it's going to find this sheet name or create it and then overwrite it with this data frame. And I actually don't want to say this index, so you can always say index is equal to false. So if you have the default pandas index, you probably don't want to save it, but you should save it if you do want the labeled index, if you happen to be using that. So you run that and it saves it. And we can see here underneath pandas, you should see example Excel file there. All right, so that's really all there is to it. Again, keep in mind if you deal a lot with Excel, you may want to check out APIs for Excel, the specific libraries for Excel that work with pandas, etc. Microsoft is also, since it's constantly developing Microsoft Excel, they often push out new Python API capabilities. So just keep that in mind if this is something you intend to work with a lot. Okay. Thanks, and I'll see you at the next lecture.